this system is also called Mars UN has formed this it's based on satellites so methane alert and response system the the system word itself tells you it is related to <coughs> alerting the emissions of methane methane emissions if it is crossing a particular level through satellite they want to see which areas and what level of methanes are being released now you know methane is not a very fantastic gas it is in some areas it is more poisonous also it is very dangerous for the human life and it has a lot of nasty effects on the human body therefore <coughs> it is very important that <coughs> methane emissions of different countries will be looked from this system so uh, this actually it came in COP 27 the climate meet which happened so what happened is you know that COP 27 UNFCC meeting United Nations Federation for Climate Change <coughs> and uh, so the essence of this the essence of the system is to find the emissions of methane and check the levels of methane that is the essence of it now moving on what are the important points of this so 27th conference of parties of the united nations framework convention and where did it happen this is very important part of unep program international methane emissions so the imao strategy to get policy relevant data on the right hands of emissions mitigation so that is the essence of it so just remember these points useful for prelims so UNEP and place where it happened that is very important what are the objectives integrate data that is a very important point it integrates data from a large number of existing as well as future satellites that have the ability to detect methane emissions anywhere in the world and send out notifications to that relevant stakeholders where there is huge emission this if there is a lot of emission in a particular country automatically the satellite through this organization will send the information saying that dude your country's methane is too much so just be careful about it so what is the other advantage track the large point emission sources this is very important that is a function of it especially from fossil fuel as well as coal waste livestock and rice fields as well so what are the where where are the other places where emission takes place coal waste livestock and rice fields all these are mainly involved in re release of methane so <clears throat> industry wise also this mars system will tell us where the methane emissions are at a higher level so why methane because of these properties methane it's a colorless and odorless gas occurs abundantly in nature and as a product of certain human activities so methane simplest member of the paraffin series of hydrocarbons most potent for greenhouse gases that is the issue why methane why is there is special consideration for methane is because this is the reason for maximum release of greenhouse gases which are also called ghgs and the second common most among the six major greenhouse gases but it is far more dangerous than carbon dioxide so methane inhalation almost leading to death or burnings which happen inside just like more dangerous than carbon monoxide also not even dioxide it's dangerous than carbon monoxide also so that is the reason why methane has a special consideration for this <clears throat> now please remember the whole world has taken global methane pledge at glasgow climate in 2021 where at least by 30% this value by 2030 30 and 30 just remember and global methane pledge by 2020 levels from 2020 to 2030 they want to reduce the greenhouse gas by 30 percent that is a pledge that they have taken global methane pledge next another important initiative is global methane initiative so it is an international public private partnership that is very important so reducing the barriers to recovery and use of methane as a clean energy source that is a whole right point so the global methane initiative is to give clean energy source 
Now, international public-private partnership focused on reducing barriers to the recovery and use of methane as a clean energy source. So, that is the essence of this one. So, global methane initiative fundamentally <coughs> is to create clean energy source, make methane a clean energy source and global methane pledge is to reduce it by 30 percent. If you remember these details, I think it is more than sufficient for your films and this you can also if there is any, inter how is, let us say there is a question saying that how is the international <coughs> committee members or international organizations working on climate change. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You can happily mention these pledges as well as this initiative. So, on that purpose it is very important for mains. Now, that is international level. What about India? In India, Haridhara. So, this comes under ICAR. So, it is anti-methane. Haridhara which can cut down how from where? Cattle. So, from cattle they want to reduce, cattle also produce a lot of methane. So, it want to reduce through cattle 17, 7 to 20 percent they want to reduce and can also result in higher milk production. This is also very important. So, prelims ke liye, <coughs> prelims as well as mains examples also you can see. And India Greenhouse Program, this is very important. This program is led by whom? World Resource Institute, WRI and it is a non-profit <coughs> organization and confederation, you know the CIA and Energy and Resource, Terry. This industry led voluntary framework measure to manage greenhouse gas emissions. So, <coughs> they will ask you a question, who are the people who are involved in this program? <coughs> so, please remember WRI plus CII plus Terry all these organizations are involved in this program. So, there is a question, there is a chance of this question popping up in the exam. So, please remember Haridhara and Indian Greenhouse Gas Program. These are the things. <coughs> so, just a quick recap. So, why methane? I told you colorless, odorless, very dangerous, not good release of hydrocarbons and it in <coughs> because of methane it is a greenhouse gas itself. So, and it is very very dangerous than carbon dioxide that is the whole point and which other organizations remember the methane pledge and global methane initiative and then please in India Haridhara <coughs> and India greenhouse gas programs if you remember this I think it should be more than sufficient.